Hello there and welcome to another video by the MXQ project. So today's video is all about Ambien that we ported over to the MXQ S85 TV box about a year ago now. So we employed a Russian developer to bring over Ambien to the Amalogic S85 TV box. We sent him a small number of MXQ boxes to actually work on. So unfortunately it's only going to work on a small number of boxes. So a small number of these things. I can't guarantee it's going to work on your hardware, but if you like, you can certainly give this a go. So what is Ambien? Ambien is Linux. It's a Linux operating system. It's based on Ubuntu or Debian, and in this case, it's going to be Debian. And it simply allows you to use Linux. So if you're not sure what Linux is, this gives you a great opportunity to give it a go. Ubuntu, for example, is fantastic on old hardware. I've got a laptop downstairs and it's about 10 years old and it's got Ubuntu on it, the very latest version, and it is fantastic. So this gives you a chance to give it a try, see what you think. It's certainly not going to show you the true potential of Ubuntu or Debian because we've got to remember we're running it on a pretty slow ARM board. Now, like I said before, this port might not work on your hardware, but we do have Balbus 150 version Balbus 150 is a developer of FreeTab, and he's also ported Ambien to the Amalogic S05 MXQ TV box. Now I'm not going to cover that in this video, I want to leave a link in the description to where you can find it and read all about that, but it's a much more mature version of Ambien for the S05 TV box. So let's move on to the first part and I'll show you where to get your file from, how to write it to an SD card and then eventually boot it from your MXQ S05 TV box. Let's first go to mxqproject.com forward slash files and then let's proceed to the folder named mxq-debian-8 as shown. Click into this folder and then click on the mxqproject-linux-desktop folder and then click on this file just here. Once downloaded you need to make sure that you actually unzip this file as well. You also need Win32 disk as well, so you can get that from us if you like, but you can get that from pretty much anywhere. Just make sure you've got this program on your Windows computer. Once you've downloaded the MXQ Jeshi operating system, you need to make sure you've unzipped it so it does display it as an image file. Then load up Win32 disk imager. Of course, make sure you've inserted your SD card into your computer and then select the MXQ Jesse desktop and then click write. Now that's going to take a few minutes to complete. Once it's done, we can move on to the next part. So now we've moved over to the TV. Grab your MXQ box and plug in your HDMI cable into the side of your box. Pop in your SD card to the SD card tray on the MXQ. Grab yourself something thin and sharp. Now on the back of your box you've got an AV port and inside there is a little button. We need to hold this button in. You may be able to hear that on the camera. Now hold that in and then apply power. To go over that again, pop in your SD card into your SD card tray, pop in your HDMI cable, make sure you've selected the right TV channel and then pop in your thin and sharp object into the AV port, feel for that button, hold that button in and then apply power. And what should happen is it should start its initial boot. So welcome to Ambien running on the MXQ SF5. Now we've got, on this particular box I'm showing you now, it's got the Wi-Fi chipset known as the RTL8188 ETV. Now you can check that out if you'd like to take a box, your box apart and see what it's got on it. But otherwise, just head over to Network Manager, click on Preferences and change that WLAN to WLAN 1, 2 or even 0. See which one works and just click OK and refresh. And if it doesn't work, and I'm afraid this is as far as you're going to go with this. The, the developer didn't build in that many Wi-Fi drivers, unfortunately, and Ethernet was not enabled either. But it was a 
very interesting project i guess for you guys you can certainly have a look through all the different applications menu and stuff like that see what you think you won't be able to use the internet but you know you can certainly see what your box is certainly capable of the old droid c1 for example has the s five processor and that's got a fantastic ubuntu desktop running on it it's dead smooth everything runs really nicely and this with a bit more development would have been capable of that unfortunately again the developer walked away even after we'd spent a hell of a lot of money actually employing this bloke as you can see we can use ice weasel for the um for our internet browser it's basically just firefox it's just renamed for linux also as well as that we didn't really get enough support from from people who were with mxq boxes we thought it would be a really interesting development to actually put out there and see what people thought of it and we just didn't garner enough support i don't think from it which was a shame as you can see it's it's it is useful it would be useful if we could have got it finished Bowers 150 on the other hand he came along a couple of months later and he is a developer of free tab and he parted it himself on over to the mxq s at five and he's he's continued to do that as well and it's a much more mature finished system it's not obviously totally complete in that but you know it's a lot more developed than our than our part and i'll leave a link in the description to where you can actually read about that i'll probably be doing a video eventually on that as well hopefully you enjoy this i'm going to leave you with a few more screenshots of all the different things you can do with this anyway if you like this video please give me a thumbs up if you dislike it give me a dislike and we shall see you on the next video